Today I'm going to be trying out judo. I'm going to be heading down to Edinburgh judo with ex-Olympian and European champion Sarah. So stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy watching. My name's Sarah Addington. I'm Glasgow 2014 Commonwealth champion. I've done judo since I was five years old and um, judo is a sport for everybody. There's four ways to win in judo. You can throw your partner on their back, you can hold your partner down, you can arm up them or you can strangle them. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, so when we move in judo, like we try and whatever your strongest hand is, which is the hand right leg, right, try and keep that foot, that leg forward, okay. And then we don't, we try and keep our feet like making that noise on the floor because then the weight's on the floor so it's not as hard. Right, okay, so yeah. fine. Strong foot forward. So what we're going to do is move around to try and Keep your feet like close to the floor yeah. and make the noise. Okay. And we're just going to push. And you can push and pull me in all different directions. Oh, right, okay. That's it. Get these your arms to push, pull and dive on. And the next thing we're going to do is call me Kemi, and that's what we do when we get thrown. I'm going to stick my chin on my chest, and then the palms of my hand, I'm going to hit, hit the mat in like. So it's not. Yeah. Like more like in the triangle shape here. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll back, keep my chin on my chest. And this is what we do when we get thrown, because then that pretty much takes all the impact. So yeah, so that's a backwards one. So in judo you can get thrown like forwards, backwards or sideways. So if I'm getting thrown backwards, I'm just going backwards then I can... Yeah. So I want to stand from the strong leg forward. So this, this hand hits the mat. Then that one can hit it. So then this is how I teach it to the kids. Like I'm like a monkey and I'm trying to whoo, whoo, and scratch my okay. armpits and push that through. And like sprinters. Sprint this leg, so I'm going to push off my legs. Yeah? Yeah, perfect! And after three, we're going to let go. We're just going to do exactly the same thing as a backers one. Alright. Keep chin tucked in, so it's a little bit faster. You ready? Okay. Ready after three. One, two, three. This hand's going to come off, it's going to go all the way around my partner's waist and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my back and I'm going to turn my back and I'm going to turn my back It's really important to bend your knees Right So if I try and do the straight legs I'm trying to turn my back Yeah to be sure. This hand goes all the way around the waist and I want to sort of pull up with this yeah. one I teach the kids to open the book Yeah But they're reading in their big newspaper yeah, yeah. To get her off balance. Round. So. Bend the knees. And then, really important, we came in and we keep hold of the seat because that's the control. Right. If I was to throw in a competition and let go, a referee's going to give me a score for it. Yeah. It's very controlled, isn't it? Right, okay, so I'm holding on to this. Yeah. And then this. Yeah, open the book. Yeah. And then I'm round. Right. Yeah. And then, bend, yep. Yeah. Under, yeah, now, yeah! Oh, that one. Okay. Right. So, here, here, yes. lift, 
Running. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. Oh, that was the best one, yeah. Open foot. Round. Oh. Yeah. Yeah? So you take um, your grip as well. Yeah. Perfect. Open. Round. I have just finished my judo class and it was a completely different experience from what I've been used to over the past few weeks. Um, I've been used to more contact sports, contact boxing, hitting the person, trying to cause damage to the other person, but today was much more about your body weight, how to maneuver the other person, how to have your feet, how to have your legs. I felt like it was more controlled. This one especially because you need to know exactly where to have your hand on that person's body and then how to throw their weight over by using also your weight but on your feet. Then I also got taught how to land, so how to land and not hurt yourself. So yeah, I had a really good session and I'm going to let you guys know how I feel tomorrow. Morning! Morning! Again, I know I've said this before but I really, really loved working with two really strong and powerful women. They made me feel great about myself, they made me feel confident in what I was doing. It was a really good class, I really, really enjoyed working with Sarah and Sarah, they were amazing coaches and I even got thrown on my back at one point so that's what I wanted to learn. I'm always up for something really challenging and that's what they gave me. Honestly, I feel like if you want a safer and more controlled sport, I felt that judo was that. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and tune in next time.